Welcome to a new video series for this channel as it is time for me to react. I asked a few weeks ago if you guys would like to see me react to some random wrestling videos on the internet and it was overwhelmingly yes. And that is why it took me a few weeks to find a video that I would have something to say about. And I found it in WhatCulture.com's 10 Things WWE Must Do This Summer. And fact is, it's a mix of me agreeing with WhatCulture.com and me disagreeing with them. So in this video, I'm going to go through the top 10 list pretty quickly and then go back to uh, say one thing that I agree with and one thing that I disagree with. If, but before I get started with it, there is a link in the description below to the actual video from whatculture.com. And, well, plain and simple, you can find it in the description. Now on to the list. The, the first... Uh, the first... Well, number 10 on the list is ending the authority forever. Number nine, th make 2015, I mean 2016, the summer of Owens. 26, uh, the number eight is bringing up more developmental talent. Number nine, I mean number seven, is making Rusev a monster heel again. Number six is a new announced team new announcers, getting rid of JBL, Michael Cole, reshuffling the things, and stuff like that. Number five is protecting heels. To make actual heels that you can actually hate and believe that they're heels, that they're bad. Number four is grabbing more TNA talent. Number three is giving Dolph Ziggler a vacation. Number two is... Number two on the list at this point is not really... does not really mean anything because number two was break up every female stable and WWE has done that, breaking up Team Bad, PCB, and the Bella, the Bellas group. And now Sasha Banks is out on her own, Becky Lynch, blah, blah, so on and so forth. So I'm not going to really talk about that. I'm going to talk about other things on the list. And number one is turn Roman Reigns heel. And now, for the thing that I agree with on the part of... Uh, on the list, from the list, is number ten. I agree completely that with the fact that the authority stable is and has ended, there is really no reason why Triple H and Stephanie need to be on TV every week. There is no reason why we need to or should see Triple H and Stephanie on TV every week. Now, for those who, you know, say... Oh, if we didn't see Triple H and Stephanie, then uh, Roman Reigns' feud wouldn't, you know, Roman Reigns wouldn't have a feud. Look, I have no problem. I'm one of the few people that have no problem with Triple H versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. What I have a problem with is Triple H being on TV. Stephanie McMahon being on TV. Because it's like, um... I apologize to whoever said this, but it's like someone said a few weeks ago, Stephanie had such a good heel promo, she had so much heat against her, but what good does that do her? What good does that do her to have heat? I mean, fine, yes, it's good to be hated, it's good to be getting a reaction, but what's the difference for an authority figure getting heat as a heel or cheers as a face. Nothing because you getting hated, you being hated, there's no payoff. There's no payoff and there's no reason why Triple H and Stephanie should be getting so much TV time. 
and not just with the feud of Roman Reigns, after it. They don't need to be the authority figures. You can re bring back general managers. You can bring back people like a Brad Maddox to be a general manager. How many times has... I mean, look at, look at NXT. Look at NXT and tell me, do they have a heel announcer? I mean, a heel general manager? No. William Regal is not hated and he isn't liked. Because some people just don't like authority figures anymore. But other people love William Regal because they think he's the perfect authority figure because he doesn't cater to one over the other. That's what you need. You need a you need a tweener authority figure because an authority figure does not need to be a babyface or a heel. And that's what's wrong with the authority. And that is why I totally agree with WhatCulture.com and Andrew Sozik, who was the person behind the list, in saying the authority needs to disappear this summer. And now, adding a little bit more to it, Shane McMahon being back in the picture, that does not change my opinion. Why? Think about it. When Vince came out back the night after the Rumble, I mean the night after Fastlane rather, he got some cheers. He got some cheers, yet a month before that he was there on the side of the authority, hating Roman Reigns, siding with the League of Nations and Sheamus, which, though they might be a weak stable and boring as hell, but they're heels. They're top heels. They get react. They get a reaction. That's what. That's the type of reaction that the wrestlers should be getting, not management, not management, and that's the reason why Stephanie and Triple H should disappear. Triple H. Go down to the NXT, focus on NXT. Stephanie, go back to the office, focus on creative, focus on whatever the heck you're doing with Be A Star or whatever the hell you do, and let their appearances be special. Let their appearances be special like it was with Vince when he appeared the first time with Roman Reigns. That's it. Just let it be special. Let it be where you don't see them every week so you can miss them. So you can miss them. That's the point, and that's also what I would that's also what I would say about Dolph Ziggler and why sending Dolph on a vacation would be a good thing. Because you need to miss him. The best thing for him was when he got when he what that angle when he got hurt with Rusev. That that was the only good part of the angle this the feud that he got injured and he was off TV for a month. Nobody saw him. Nobody missed him. Because he was on the gone for a month. That's what it is with Cena now. He's injured. When he comes back, can you imagine the reaction? Because he's been gone. People miss him. Him, Rollins, Randy, Cesaro, they miss him. Let us miss the authority. Get rid of them. And when they come back, we'll like them more. Because they haven't been here. They've been gone. Let other people get the time. Let other people have the spotlight. Take the authority away and bring back general managers. Bring back general managers or bring back the brand split where you can give people more TV time anyway because right now the same people get TV time on Raw that do on SmackDown. And that actually segues into what I disagree with from the list. And what I disagree with from the list is Kevin Owens. This might not be a popular opinion. I don't care. I don't care. It's my opinion. For those who say Kevin Owens should have beaten John Cena in their third match of the best of three series, you're wrong. You're wrong. Look at the last person who beat John Cena within within months of his debut on, on the main roster or on Raw or the big shows. Sheamus. What happened to Sheamus? What happened to Wade Barrett, who didn't beat Cena? Did people think that was going to be Kevin Owens? Owens has too much talent to be that. I'm not saying Wade Barrett doesn't, but Wade Barrett's problem is that he can't stay healthy. And Kevin Owens' problem is... Maybe he hasn't gotten on Vince's good side yet. That's his problem. But once Hunter is in charge... A lot of people from NXT won't have the hatred of 
the main roster that they do now because they'll believe that the person who took care of him down in developmental will take care of him again when they come when he comes up on the main roster. But the point of this is is not to rant about NXT and their misuse on the main roster. It's the fact of the matter is there's such thing as a slow build push. A slow build push. Not everything is um not everything should be given to you right away. Not everything should be fall should fall under the category of instant gratification. Because not everything should be about instant gratification. You won't get everything handed to you because some things take time to build. Some things take time. And that's the one problem with wrestling fans nowadays is that they don't like to wait. Kevin Owens will be a star in WWE. He will be, even if, it requ- even if it's just because there are 15 people on the injured reserve, he's still going to be a world champion, and that's still going to go on WWE.com, Wikipedia, or whatever the hell other site you look at your TV uh, world title histories. But fact is, he'd still be world champion. And look at where he is now. Look at where he is now. He's feuding with Sami Zayn over the Intercontinental title. He's single-handedly bringing back meaning to that title because since he started feuding with that, over that title, back with Ryback, then with Dean Ambrose, then with Dolph Ziggler, now with Sami Zayn, think about it. What's changed? People actually care about the Intercontinental title. That's what's changed because people like Ambrose, people like Ziggler, were going for the belt. And they had good matches. It's back on a workhorse. Kevin Owens is a workhorse. Much like the people like Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart were workhorses, and the people that held and were the people that held the titles back in the early nineties when the Intercontinental title was at its peak. Kevin Owens did not need to have a great year last year, because this year. He stole in the sh- he stole the show at the Royal Rumble. He did great at Fastlane. And he's been he's become in many ways the most interesting part of Monday Night Raw every single week. The most anticipated match on Friday Night SmackDown last week was Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. And if you don't believe me, why was Kevin Owens trending then? And think about how good Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn is going to be at WrestleMania if they're given the time and the opportunity to make it good. And it's not a multi-man match. Because if it is a multi-man match and you don't give Sami and Kevin the spotlight at Extreme Rules, guess what? You're losing money. Yes, you want to sucker everyone you can onto WrestleMania. I understand that. But what's better? Dolph Ziggler, The Miz, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens, and Neville all in a five-man, five-way match for the Intercontinental title, or Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn? Yes, you can get more out of the feud by including Dolph Ziggler and The Miz and this person and that person, but you'll lose money by not letting Kevin versus Sami. If you weren't going to give Kevin versus Sami at WrestleMania or Extreme Rules, then guess what? You shouldn't have made Sami come up and attack Kevin, or interact with Kevin. You could have brought Sammy up and kept him apart from Kevin, which is the reason why a brand split would be good for WWE for reasons like that. But that's my reaction to top top 10 things that WWE should do this summer as given to us by uh, Andrew Sozik from uh, WhatCulture.com. And... That is my reaction. I want to hear yours. The video is in the description below. And if you enjoyed my reaction, a rating would be appreciated. And it really does help. And if you want to see more content just like this, if you want to see, and if you want to see more content just like this, there's only one place for that. And that's right here at Wrestling Express. Till next time. Later.